Hi, I'm Jay, the Happy Colorist, and I'm back with the next part or parts of my um, summon book haul. Um, you can see some of the pile here. We'll see how quickly we get through it. I'm really happy that I can finally sort all of those books into my shelf because it, you know, there was this huge pile. So um, I hope you enjoyed the last parts. Um, the editing always takes a bit of time for me and the uploading too because my internet connection is so slow that's why I try and keep the um, videos a bit short so depending on how long I um, stare into those uh, books this might you know this um, recording session um, so to say might be another part okay let's get right into it the first books I want to show you today are three Fabiana Anastasia books. I showed you in the last haul that I already got. This one, this is the German um, edition of Snow White. And um, to further complete the collection is um, The Beauty and the Beast, um, Cinderella and Alice in Wonderland all by Fabiana Anastasio. Um, you can see that um, I have these two in Italian. I think those are the ones that don't have a, um, an English release. Um, this I still got in, in English. Um, for those of you who um, live in Europe and um, I don't live close to Italy, I suppose, I got these two from Amazon Italy actually, because they were um, so much cheaper there um, that even with the shipping to me, um, they were still um, significantly cheaper to to get. Um, they even had a, I think at the time, a sale on. So um, I think the Peter Pan book was five euros or something, and I, uh, I really had to convince myself that two books was <laughs> enough. But yeah, so now I have the four books of her that I really wanted, and the others are on my, yeah, you know, for someday list. So let's start um, the flip through with um, the Beauty and the Beast. I think this is uh, my favorite. Um, let's try and flip it from the beginning. Oh, what I really like is that from the back they're all you know the same red. So in the bookshelf they look um, the same even though some are uh, Italian and some are um, English. Um, this is not the same for the German one which I think is a bit annoying but whatever. Okay, The Beauty and the Beast. I think her style is so, so sweet and um, I love the Disney, um, the Disney movie. It's one of my favorite Disney, so of course I had to, had to get this one. It's in Fabiana's style as you know it super sweet some double page spreads that I'm sure I will never find time for but you know just looking at those are super sweet and uh, speaking of Fabiana Atanasio did you see that she is going to do a book in the mythographic series the castle ones it was um announced with a different artist actually which is why i didn't um, pre-order it because it wasn't done by um joseph kattenbang who does the who has done the other two as of yet released ones imagine and animals and he's doing a third one aquatic and then there's a fourth in the series that releases sometime next year and this will be done by fabiana so i'm super excited about that already So yeah, that's the Beauty and the Beast. Oh god, I love this one. I love to color roses, so perfect book for me. And if you hear some skitting in the di- Yeah, the cats are- uh, They woke up and want to play too. Um, this is Cinderella, also super sweet. I think it's my second favorite by her, even though it's really hard to uh, name favorites. Um, it's so cute. All of it is so cute. Mm, 
I really, really love how she does animals too. There's this um, super cute picture with Cinderella and the animals I see here. So sweet. And I love the little mouse. And there's this one with the little where the little mice help her. Let's see the kitty. Ah, oh, it's just so cute. Absolutely love Fabiana's style. So Cinderella. And then I got Alice in Wonderland because it's also so sweet. Also with the animals. Oh, I love this. I love griffins in general, so of course I do. I'm one of those uh, people who isn't in love with the story of Alice in Wonderland in general. I mean, I like the pictures and everything, but I remember that when I... Isn't there a Disney movie? I think there's a Disney movie or something. When I watched it, I got really scared of it. <laughs> so, I don't know. But yeah, still love love this book. So, those are, for now, my four Fabiana books. The next is also one that was on my um, wish list for quite a while. It's a Dover coloring book by Marty Noble. It's the Goddesses coloring book, and um, this this series of Dover books, which I think they're phasing out, is um, a bit different from the others in that they're um, um, printed double sided. So um, yeah, that's why it's you know thinner. Um, but um, this went super low in price, so I had to get it even though it's double-sided. And um, really love, love the pictures. Um, as you know, I love all themed books, especially, you know, goddesses. Um, and the, the book has, you know, some explanation of the story behind the picture. So there are some um, goddesses you might not have heard. Um, off and so this is really helpful for example this one is Oshun which I think is so so cool yeah gorgeous book really love this well lots of Egyptian goddesses too Goddesses by Martin Noble. Then I had to get this one. This is Circles of Fun Animals. Um, it's a Dover Spark book. Um, and this is by Maggie Swanson. And the Dover Spark line is, I think, um, meant for children. But I thought that was just so cute. And there's a picture in there with an otter. And um, I showed it to my boyfriend and he was just smitten with it. So I had to get the book. Um, I saw this on several channels, actually. I think... Hmm. I want to say Lavelia showed it, but I think it was a different animals book with mosaics. And I think in that's the other other picture I was talking about actually. Oh, it's so sweet. And I think I saw a coloring with Donna. I think that's where I saw it. And I really like the the way they are done in circles. And oh, look at the kitty. Um, it's a bit like the um, Broken Circles book by Tabitha uh, Barnett I showed you last time. <coughs> Um, I really like that. Mm, that's so sweet. Oh, kitties. All kinds of animals. Really love this. And, you know, it might be aimed at children, but I do think um, for children it's pretty complicated, actually. So this is Circles of Fun Animals by Maggie Swanson. Then I got... Um, Two coloring books by Teresa Goodrich, The Little Mermaid Friends and Pretty Princess coloring book. Both are Dover coloring books like the one um, by Marty Noble, so they're double-sided and pretty thin. And these are just too cute too. I love Teresa Goodrich. Um, so this is The Little Mermaid one. So, so adorable. Look at the mermaid in her bubble bath. I 
home sweet home. All the mermaids dressing up with a treasure chest. Oh, and here just, you know, being drawn in a carriage by dolphins. It's just so cute. Oh, cuddling the seals. Love this. Really love this. It's just, you know, makes you happy if you just look at the pictures, doesn't it? So this is Little Mermaid Friends by Teresa Goodrich, and then this is the Pretty Princess. It's just, it's the same style, but now with the princess. Um, and again, it just makes you happy when you look at it, doesn't it? Just, you know, look at this. <laughs> Feeding the birdsies. And here she is with a little kitten. Skating, and this looks like, you know, Easter with the bunnies and a little fox cub. Just, I want to paint this all in pink. <laughs> it's just so sweet. And all, all the animals of the forest and a little hedgehog even. And look at here, the, the mouse or the mice are holding her mirror so that she can look into it. No, oh, I just love this. Really love this. Oh, little squirrel. Oh, and the kitty again. I love the kitty. So these two are by Teresa Goodrich, Pretty Princess, and Little Mermaid Friends. Um, then we get to the books I got from More Far Away. Um, <sighs> this is uh, like something like Dream Garden. I'm just read Dream Garden, I think. Oh god, I need to look this up. Um, basically, it's about this cat and her journey through, you know, dreams. This is made by Kiko Katagiri and Tanya. And for the longest time, I was um, so sure that this is Tanya because the Nya. Um, is like meow in Japanese, so often they name their cats like that, but apparently it's not. Um, it's made by a collaboration um, of different artists, so um, you can see that the art style changes. This is very, very, very intricate. Um, and the lines aren't completely black. And of course I had to get this because it's um, kitties, lots of kitties. I think I saw this at Lovelia. Novelia's coloring, I think she has it. Mm. Oh, and then I saw it again on Red Tifa's channel. Yeah, that's that's where, you know, the last push. It was on my um, wish list for quite a long time, but then I saw it on her channel and she explained the, the, the book and the story in it so, so well, so I had to get it. Um, and also cats. And, um, you know, as I said, there's a garden motif. And the thing that I didn't notice when I watched the flip through for the first time, and which I only um, uh, realized when Steph um, told about this, that um, this page leads to this page. Like um, the cat looks at the picture and then the next um, color page is the picture. That happen that works with a lot of um, pictures to the point where I always go sit and try and find this one in this one. <laughs> and the kitty is all everywhere. It's so sweet. I love it. And you can see there are different um, styles of um, or different drawing styles, which I think uh, makes the whole thing very interesting. Oh, you can see here this is the thing that is um, embroidered and then this is the whole pattern as a coloring page now we have an embroidery theme
and back in the garden. I just think it's so, so sweet. I'm pretty varied. You know, you have these just, you know, garden scenes that even, you know, remind you a bit of Johanna Basford, maybe. And then those ball patterns again. Can you see? I suppose here's a bird and there's bird. Let's say that's the connection. Yeah, and that's that's basically how it how it continues. It's a very very thick book. And the little white cat is everywhere. I, I I'll just call her Tanya, even though I'm pretty sure that's not Tanya. Oh, in the snow, and uh, Birdie has escaped. And this looks very, very different now. I really love this too. Now the cat is, you know, on um, on vacation. See, traveling around. Oh, lots of cats. Uh, well, you 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 can see why I got this book, right? Um, so many cats, and I love this. I have to look up the actual title. <sighs> then I got an even thicker book. This is a Japanese one um, whose um, title I cannot spell for you. Uh, I think I just saw this on LA Express and wanted to have it. Um, it is super, th super thick. So let me just you know, flip through a bit. It's in the style that many of these um, coloring books are. Um, even though this is a bit more um, anime-like than others, which I prefer. Um, though it has, almost all the pictures are um, double-sided or double page spreads, uh, which well, I don't, didn't know because otherwise I might not have gotten it because I'm. I usually don't do double page spreads. I don't think I ever have done one. Um, but there are also single pages in here, and um, just for the art, it's already so so stunning. Oh, the book is sque sque squeaking. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, the book doesn't want to be shown anymore. Um, then I got this one. Uh, this is by Dada Mao. Um, this is one of those in this in the series. There are several of, I think, five. And this is the one that's sometimes called like a hundred ghosts something something. Um, and I really love this because um, it's mostly single-sided and um, the motif of the left side then is repeated in the right. Um, with some it's not as apparent. Um, it's basically, I think, those are ghosts or goddesses or demons or something. Um, like this looks a bit like a dryad or something and then this is the Actual. This is just a little depiction, and this is the actual picture. Look, she has a pole. Oh, this is a like a samurai spirit, and this is the picture. Or like a um, cat spirit, and that's her. And I just love the illustrations. So gorgeous. <laughs> oh look at this little this this girl. Yeah, 
it's all um, single pages and if you um, ignore this page which mostly only has I suppose a description for here on it you can um, use markers if you want to because there's not an actual picture that you'll lose here um, a mermaid dragon <laughs> a bunny spirit she she has little bunny ears isn't she sweet a cat spirit she also has the ears and two tails that are depicted here Kitsune oh look with the little one and um, as many of Dada Mao's books um, this one also has a like a colored version for all the pictures which I really really like um, so that you can you know get inspira inspiration or sometimes if you don't know what a part is you can see here and see how it's colored. So this is Dada Mao, 100 ghosts something something. Um, then I got two um, books that are not German but I got the German edition because um, both have some um, faults so that they were severely um, reduced in price. Um, they are both like fan books to book series by Sarah J Maas um, and this is oh, it's in the back the original title is um, well, the, the Throne of Glass coloring book and um, this one is A Court of Thorns and Roses coloring book. And this one um, in English I think is out of print, but in German you can still get it. So if you're um, interested and always wanted to have, um, what did I say? Courts of Thorns and Roses. It's called Reich der Siebenhöfe. I don't know why, but that's how it is. I don't know the, um, the book series, um, but I like the um, illustrations and um, that's also why I don't care that it's in German. Um, and since this one was already out of print in English, I thought, I, oh, you know, don't wait until it's also out of print in German and then, you know, regret. And this is also done by several artists, as it is so often. Mm. And yeah, you might have recognized him. John Ho is one of the illustrators another reason why I got this um, other other illustrations are by Yvonne Gilbert um, Charlie Bowater Adrian Doddich and Craig Phillips um, I can spot the John Ho ones this one for example I love his art this also looks like it might be by him this one So yeah, just for the John Ho pictures, this is this has been super worth it. And I like the the fantasy pictures of this one with peacocks in the font. Yeah, this is um, a thought of a th uh, court of thorns and roses coloring book. And this is the throne of glass. I think the illustrators are the same. Um. It doesn't say. I'm sure it's also Yvonne Gilbert, but the rest I don't know. But I bet it's the same. I mean, this looks like John Ho again. And again, it's really gorgeous fantasy art. So I don't know whether the books are any good. Um, they look really cool. Maybe I should read them someday. Just give me a second, it's raining super hard, I need to see whether I need to close windows. Yeah, um, Sarah J Maas, which is who is the author of the books, Throne of Glass, Coloring Book and uh, Throne, Court of Thorns and Roses Coloring Book in German. 
So if you wanted to get this, um, in German it's still available. And the last book um, for this stack, I've waited for a long, long time. This is Flora by Maria Trolle, her newest book, which I think released in June. And I wanted to get the Dutch edition. And I'm not, I wasn't disappointed. The Dutch edition again is super, super thick because of um, the extremely uh, thick paper. And I love her um, pictures. Um, I think she just, you know, improves with every book um, so much. I love this. And again, it's a bit, you know, seasonal. So you see this is autumn and then it goes into winter and it starts in spring, which I really, really like. And it has some of her um, pictures with black ba black backgrounds too. I really love those too because they're pretty quick to color if you just want to something small. And I really love um, the pictures with the borders that she started doing. It's just so sweet. Lots of fairies, gnomes. And the little dragons are in here somewhere too. I saw seen them. Really love this. Wonderful, wonderful book. And again, you know, the Dutch edition never disappoint. Extremely big, uh, thick paper. Very, very heavy book because of it. Yes, Flora. Ah, by Maria Trolle. Can you see this? Yeah. You can see that it's gold foiled like her other books. It's beautiful. So, that was, I think, maybe my second to last stack. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll end the video here so that um, it's a manageable length for me. And um, yeah, we'll see in the next part. Bye!